An instant print camera like the good old days? Well, not exactly, but still, let's have a look. Dave Taylor here, and I'm looking at this, or maybe I should, so this way, I'm not sure, but this is the Polaroid Pop, and it's a really interesting device. So, at its most basic, it's an HD 20 megapixel digital camera with a really nice big screen on the back. This is actually a four inch touch screen. And so by itself, that's pretty cool. Good for kids, big obviously, you know, nice big form factor here, but it also has a built-in color printer. Really, no kidding. So here's a picture that I printed. I took the picture with the camera and then I printed it. So as you can see, it comes out pretty well. Here's a close up because I know you want to see that. But turns out that it actually just saves to an SD card. So if you never ever use this for prints, that would be okay because it's still a nice camera and really easy for people to work with, especially people that maybe are not quite so technically sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can put into a hundred up to 128 gigabyte micro SD card and like I said it can take pictures at a variety of resolutions up to 20 megapixels and I say that and you're like hmm well what does that look like so here is an example I just copied this picture using their app onto my computer and so I've integrated it into this video and here's an example of some video all of it actually looks really clean. You can see there's nothing to complain about there. And here's the thing is that since it's a color printer, obviously you can take pictures and print them, but you can also print from other devices. So I thought it would be kind of fun to do just that. So the interface is a little bit funky, but let me see if I can figure out how to get us into print mode. Let's see, so I'm gonna leave this here and then on the app, I'm going to step you through. So on the app, let me go ahead and launch it. And as you can see, let's let me get to the right place. Um, you have a gallery so you can see your pictures and videos and animated GIFs and all that. And then there's this sort of, it's a little confusing because you need to pair to the, to the camera via Wi-Fi. And then once you've done that, then you want to go back to your regular Wi-Fi connection because you can go through the gallery in the app and then you can pick out an image and then that image you can request to print. So let's see if I can get all that to work properly. So now I'm looking at the image I want to print. Now this image is something I took with a different camera, but that shouldn't matter, right? So I'm gonna request print and let's see, uh, make sure you're connected. Let's go back and connect again. So to connect, you have to go, like I said, into your Wi-Fi, and then you have to pick the camera, which just shows up and let's see then I should be able to go to my picture and request print and let's see what happens this time ah so now it's printing so now we should be able to see oh lost connection that was bad <laughs> I shouldn't have touched that button let's go and do it again so I'll go here and print and there is a little bit of fiddling involved here and, and lost connection again well Let's see. See, this is a great thing about doing it live is that you really get to see exactly what's going on. So let's go back to here and let's go back into the app and we'll try again. I've, I've had this work. Obviously, I've had printouts, right? So print one more time. Fingers crossed it'll work this time. OK, we have transferring showing up on the camera. So that's great. And now printing one of one. But now I want you to watch how long it takes. So it's already starting the printout process. And printouts come from the top. So I'm going to hold it like this. So hopefully it won't mess up the printing process. Now, while this is printing, let me tell you, it's using what's called zinc technology. And the pictures come out at 3.5 by 4.25 inches. And zinc is pretty cool because there's no separate ink. There's no waving the print. If you remember from the old days with Polaroid, you had to sort of shake the print out so that the picture would actually have all the colors and everything. You don't have to do anything like that with this, which is nice. So four inch touchscreen, dual LED flash, 
It's 1080p full HD video, built-in Wi-Fi, obviously, up, oh, and our picture is coming out, pretty cool, um, and has an onboard editing here, and you can put frames and stickers, and you can play all sorts of stuff. It's really, it's kind of like for the Snapchat generation, but that's okay. Um, it has a rechargeable battery, and once it's fully charged, it'll work for up to 50 prints. So let's have a look and see. I would say that's a pretty nice printout from my phone. So pretty slick set setup there. Now that seems to be enough that it's complaining of low battery, which is a bit of a drag because I was just charging it. Um, but you could also leave it plugged in for prints if you wanted to, although that sort of takes away some of the portability. So, you know, this is very much the experience with the Polaroid Pop. There's a lot to really like about it. And frankly, I think it's really cool just as a camera. But the whole sort of interface with the phone app and stuff, I really wanted it to work better than it did. I really wanted error messages that were sensible when it didn't work. I really wanted it to actually just once I had paired it initially to have my phone as soon as I go into the app immediately look for that and connect to it. I don't know, maybe that's beyond the ability of smartphones, but it's just, it's a little clumsy and you had to, just as we saw, go back and forth and connect and check to see if it's still connected and make sure that it's here. Now you can transfer photos and video and everything wirelessly onto your smart device and that's exactly what I did, so that worked out great. But again, I wish all of that was just a little smoother and maybe, I don't know, one more generation would do that. But frankly, you can also pop out the micro SD card and you can just go and read everything off of there directly. So again, for kids, this could be really fun because that you could just give this to them maybe without any paper in it. And you can just say, go and take pictures and print and, you know, videos and animated GIFs and whatever you want. Go have fun on board. You can delete things. You can edit things. You can do stickers, all that sort of stuff. And then the kids, you know, find their two favorite pictures, and then those are what you print, right? So that leads me to the paper. Now, when you buy the full set, the standard Polaroid Pop comes with five um, photo paper pages. I don't know. <laughs> five potential photographs. And that's all. Now, turns out this stuff's kind of expensive. So here's what you're most likely going to get, which is 10 packs. And this gives you 10 sheets of, of print paper, and it gives you this one color calibration thing which you use, it ejects, you toss it, so that's not a big deal, or recycle it, hopefully. Um, but this is $9.99 for 10 sheets, so they're about, if not exactly, a dollar a print. So, you know, you're definitely paying for convenience, but <clears throat> the zinc has some nice characteristics too, one of which is that it's water resistant, and it's supposed to be color fast. So hopefully, you know, if you take pictures like this and then you put it on your wall, then you come back in six months and the colors are staying the same and nothing's changed. That's pretty important. And still a buck per picture for this size picture, that's not inexpensive. But you're obviously paying for the convenience of being in the field, of being at the party, of wherever you want to be, you can just make a color printout. So that's actually pretty darn cool. And they are really good prints, I have to say. It does a really nice job. Now, you have to fiddle a little bit. And I will say that um, Polaroid says this can work in lower light situations. Our experience with it is that you really want well-lit shots. You want, you want it to be really bright and really pop. And even with this print, if we look at the original, you know, the original is definitely more color range and more dynamic than the print is. You could probably fiddle with the settings a little bit to get it to be a little more vibrant, but if you're in a low light situation, <laughs> like an episode of Game of Thrones, then it's probably not going to come out very well in our experience. Your mileage may vary. Oh, so I said that this is 10 sheets for $9.99. They also sell a 40 sheet pack for $38.04, which makes it what, like 98 cents per print? <laughs> in any case, you just want to think that it's a buck a print. So if you want to supply something like this to your kid's party, then you really, I would say, probably want the printouts to be done at the end. Let people take tons of pictures and then they can vote and figure out like the five best photos and then that's what they actually can print and share. 
or maybe you just again use this as a camera and it does a really nice job it's got a really nice little CMOS sensor in there and so it's taking good pictures if you aren't finding that with yours it might be that you just have it at the wrong settings if it's a five megapixels you're not getting much information for an HD image but you know use this just as a camera transfer everything onto your smartphone email it to all the other parents so that's actually kind of cool too right so still lots of fun and the paper goes in the bottom you can see there's actually some sheets of paper in there now and the com uh, camera comes with a bunch of different color options so if you don't like this sort of i don't know lime green then it also comes in black and blue and yellow and pink and white so you can pick the color that most describes or matches your personality how fun is that and you're ready to rock and roll so the only thing left to talk about really is the price and before we get there if i can ask for you to subscribe to my channel really appreciate when you do that great now the polaroid pop with hand strap and charging cable and a sort of starter pack of five sheets of photo paper will cost you $199.99 at amazon.com. And, you know, read through the comments and, and reviews people have. It's kind of a mixed bag, but I looked through a lot of the negative reviews and I feel like people don't spend the time to figure out how to use this device. My impression after using it for a while and trying a lot of different settings is that there's a lot to like here but it's gonna reward you spending a little time. And of course, having it be a little better and smoother on its connectivity with the app would be a big win. So with that, I will catch you in my next video.